they are what you know but it's fine i think i had my first kiss so hello guys and welcome back to my channel i'm so excited today you don't even know even though as i speak with you i don't know if you can tell from the sound of my voice I actually have a mild sore throat okay what, what am I saying mild it's not really mild it's actually painful like I feel like I have a very serious deep sore in my throat okay even drinking water is quite painful but we move guys <laughs> all right so today guys without doing any too much but a boom in this intro i will be doing a first time juicy gist storytelling whatsoever you call it time okay so i got like 20 questions that i'm going to be answering today of my first time ever all right so i don't know some of these questions that are like mm, all right but i'm going to try to answer them as genuinely as i can you understand <laughs> all right so i'll start with the mild ones mm, yeah but they are all my first times okay so the first question here is what's the first thing i do when i wake up it's pretty basic i pray okay i'm a christian a full-time one so it's expected that when you wake up from sleep you have to pray and give god thanks for the previous day and for the life that he has given to you okay so that's basically the first thing i do i always say my prayers okay have my me and god time all right yeah so that's pretty much the first thing i do when i wake up from sleep and the next question is what's the first app i open in the morning see to be frank i'm not even going to lie it's whatsapp once I open my phone, the first thing I open is WhatsApp. But ever since I started this whole YouTubing thing, there are times when I'm tempted to actually open my YouTube studio app. Okay. I mean YouTubers, you always relate. You always want to check what's up, what's going on, how many views you've gotten, how your analytics, you know, is doing and all. But mostly I like to open WhatsApp. So my pastor always sends like daily blessings and declarations and also I like to go there first and declare those things to myself so I can start my day pumped. Okay. Then if you want to know the second thing I open, that's my YouTube studio app. Okay, so that's it. So the third question is, what's your first time of putting on makeup? Hmm. So yeah, I won't even lie. I cannot remember exactly the first time that I put on makeup because I started experimenting with makeup since I was a teenager. Okay. I believe I was still in secondary school when I started trying out um, basic makeup like you know eyeliner lip gloss colored lip gloss and all of that okay but as time went on i started experimenting more buying palettes and all of that brown powder foundation but my first time of wearing makeup i did it myself with just basic makeup items like eyeliner colored lip gloss and i think um, one very cheap eyeshadow palette like that the next question is who is your first crush <laughs> oh crush me do crush what <laughs> okay guys see you. Hmm, please don't judge me okay but my first crush actually was in primary school <laughs> yeah my first crush was in primary school i think i was in primary hmm. primary two three four ish okay i'm not going to call his name but i was actually crushing on this guy like i was already dreaming of how we we're going to you know grow get married just you don't want to be in my mind as a day okay i don't even know what i was thinking over yeah so the next question here is what's the first time i got drunk <laughs> <laughs> this particular question is making me laugh now because <laughs> see eh, notice or public notice or disclaimer this brain is not for alcohol i'm telling you the truth 
call it whatsoever yes my brain is light whatsoever you want to call it but this brain is not for alcohol so please don't get angry if you offer me alcohol and i say oh i don't take alcohol i know what <laughs> guys would you believe that i got drunk taking powerhouse two cans of powerhouse and i was like well let me not say drunk drunk okay well i was obviously tipsy I, in fact, I was losing it, okay? It was not like I started talking rubbish and falling up and down, no, okay? <laughs> but I just knew I had lost my balance, okay? This is not me. Power hustle. I think that thing is like, say 2%. 2%. And that was like, say, 10 years ago. Okay, so that was the first time I actually knew that. <laughs> this thing can... Power hustle. This one is quite embarrassing. <laughs> it says, that was the first time I fought in public. Please, guys. Growing up, eh? See, in fact, till now, eh, I hate fighting. I really don't know how to fight, like, you know, get all physical and all of that. I was always beaten. In fact, right from childhood, what do you call public? Public is where people are seeing you now, outside your house or something, okay? I always fought with this particular childhood friend of mine. She's still my, my friend till today, okay? But we always fought, we always agreed, we always fought, and she fights like a man. Jeez, respect, girl. But I'm not a fighter, I'm just a little bit older than her. But she will always beat me, she will always beat me, and I will always cry. <laughs> okay, but thinking about it now, it's fun, no? okay, just thinking about it. But back then. It wasn't fun, okay? I was always beating. I don't like fighting. I don't like problems, okay? Being physical is just not my thing, basically. Yeah. This one says, What's the first time I went to a club? I'm sorry, but why am I even apologizing? I've never been to a club, okay? I'm not a club person. And I don't know if I'll ever go to a club, okay? I just have different ways of unwinding. And having fun and clubbing is not one of them I don't know but that's my style okay so this next one says what's the first time I got a heartbreak hey <laughs> I'm so sorry but frankly I don't think I've ever had like a heartbreak heartbreak okay I got one that's not nearly should have been a heartbreak but ended up not being a heartbreak okay i don't know that story is about me and my husband all right there was a time when we nearly broke up okay and then shortly after that marriage plan started <laughs> story for story for another day okay but of course so i can't call that a heartbreak now i'm going to give us that story in another video okay it was a very funny one but yeah, I've never been heartbroken, alright? I think maybe I'm even the one that has broken someone's heart, but my heart has never been broken, yeah. What's your very first picture post on social media? Okay, I think the very first place on social media that I put a picture of mine would be Facebook, okay? So I'm going to look for my very first picture. I think I know, I know it's going to be hilarious and hideous, but I'm going to put it up here for us to see, okay? Please don't laugh at me. Ah, I've always been a fine girl. Mm -hmm. All right, so on to the next one. This one says, "What was my first kiss experience?" Hey, hey, well, they are watching, you know, but it's fine. I think I had my first kiss maybe immediately after. Yeah, immediately after leaving secondary school. Then, okay, just a kiss, nothing more. Mm. So yeah that's my first kiss all right so what was my very first salary earned okay i'm guessing that would be the amount okay not when i earned it but if it's the amount then i think my very first salary earned was 50k okay i don't know what 50k is going to do for someone right now but yeah that's what i earned back then okay this one says what's your first time of being arrested arrested how please i'm a good girl I've never been arrested. I've never entered this their what do they call it? Black Maria pickup van, whatever it is. I've never been arrested. I've never had handcuffs on me. I've never had anybody even hook my shirt and say I'm arresting you or I'm taking it. To I'm a good girl. I don't look for trouble. I don't get into trouble. Okay, so yeah. Never been arrested. The first meal I ever cooked. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh guys yeah this is quite interesting but i think the first meal i cooked was um a fish stew yeah when i was 12 okay so i i lived with my dad from age two and he he did all the cooking okay he cooked for me and served me and all of that but when i when i was 12 he made me cook my very first meal and i will not forget that ice fish stew okay i actually went to the market myself he gave me money gave me a list and told me i should cook stew and i went to the market and bought the ingredients and i came back and i was clueless guys how to start i knew how to continue but i didn't know how to start okay so i called a neighbor of mine to help me i i, I didn't know whether to pour water first in the pot or oil or the tomatoes i just i was clueless okay but i knew the moment something is looking red in the pot i can be adding ingredients and whatever so i had to call the neighbor of mine and ask that what is the first thing i should do and then she said i should put in my oil first put my onions and blah blah blah. she just gave me the procedure and i made my first meal day and day and it was but <laughs> <laughs> but I knew it was a little bit salty but my dad was so pleased he was so happy oh this is nice in fact he would be the one to cook all the meals in the house and then from then he started giving me you know hands to cook all right he, he would tell me what to cook and that was how I started cooking yeah so I started cooking from age 12 and my first meal cooked was ice fish stew so this one says what's my first time of living alone when I had to stay in the hostel, I, I practically told my dad, please, I want to live in the hostel. I can't be going to school from home. It's quite far. But we like all that living alone because I had roommates, okay? But if it is living alone, alone, like in my own room, only me and all. That was during my NYC year when I had to rent an apartment and stayed alone, okay, for the most part of it. So that's my first time of living alone. And living alone has its own yeah ups and downs but i learned a lot it added to my maturity my independence you know it's actually a nice one but yeah that was when i started living alone for the very first time in my life this is what's your first time of being pregnant the first time i ever became pregnant was the night after my wedding like your girl took in like bam married today pregnant tomorrow detailed story for another day but yeah that was the very first time I ever got pregnant in my entire life. And this last one says, what was my first time of using an ATM? I find this one interesting, guys, because hmm, if you see me that day, I think I was around 16 years of age when I used the ATM by myself for the very first time. So I think I just got in my first bank account then, but I didn't know how to use the ATM card, okay? So I went with a male friend of mine to one ATM. I made sure we picked an ATM that is not always crowded because I was so shy. I was like, hey, how am I going to do it? People will laugh at me and all that. I was that naive, really. So I took my card and I went to the machine, guys, and I slotted it in. I was going on fine, though until when the money came out and instead of 2k i was seeing plenty money in my hands so i basically withdrew 20,000 naira instead of 2,000 naira don't blame me guys the zeros were just confusing me so i didn't know that i had clicked on 20k instead of 2k and i was scared out of my mind i was like yeah this thing is vomiting money you know? and my friend just laughed and laughed and laughed me to scorn that day and later explained to me that maybe i clicked on 20,000 and actually when we got the money to 20,000 naira so that was my very first atm withdrawal experience okay and with that guys i have come to the end of this very funny and embarrassing video let me know in the comment section if there is any other one you want me to do my first time of this or that okay let me know in the comment section leave a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it all right and just to encourage your girl okay and also help me to subscribe yes you're helping me if you subscribe okay subscribe and always come back to watch my videos okay thanks for supporting me all this while and all of you who are already subscribed big ups thanks for always showing up okay and i'm going to see you in the next video very soon ciao